Are you going to be prosecuting more or fewer victimless crime offenses than your predecessor? Starting tomorrow, I'm no longer just a shipping clerk. I'm chairman of the board. And it's all because of... Freaking.com Document officials these days, it seems like. Uh, so... My question is, are you going to be, are you going to be, I should get out of the way a little bit, are you going to be prosecuting more or fewer victimless crime offenses than your predecessor? I'm not sure the question you're asking me. Do you need me to define, do you need me to define? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 why don't you tell me, and who are you with? It's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. You can take a card out of this. If you can have, if you've got two spare hands, you can get a card out of that. Yeah. And, and what but is your uh, organization doing? It's like a poor man's TV station. It's New Hampshire's number two YouTube channel. But yeah, I mean, I would define a victimless crime as one where there's no one, no individual threatened and no individual harmed. Uh, and certainly the state prosecutes people who have not harmed anyone, have not threatened anyone. So give me an example. Of the uh, marijuana possession or marijuana manufacturing. I mean, our office is really limited to prosecutions, primarily homicides and also uh, crimes which result in life imprisonment without possibility of parole or drug crime that can lead to a significant sentence. So I'm not really sure we're, um, we're, we're involved in types of things. I think that those questions might be better uh, suited for uh, county attorneys and you know, I, I think they're obligated to uh, um, and, you know, enforce the laws as passed by the legislature. If folks think there's victimless crimes, I think the legislature, you know, is the place to uh, seek reprieve. Well, you don't enforce the ban on Little League Sundays, and there is one still on the books, I believe. Well, I mean, I, again, our office wouldn't do that. Right. Um, but so you, you don't prosecute victimless crimes, is that what you're saying? Um, I think what I've said is our office is limited in its uh, criminal jurisdiction directly. It's involved in prosecutions of homicides, other crimes that could lead to life imprisonment without possibly parole, serious crimes and serious offenses. Okay. And, and I think what you're asking really is a political question that is more addressed to legislators. If, yeah. Uh, I, I know there's a, 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 a folks who want to uh, decriminalize uh, possession and so forth. I think that's what you're, you're getting at. That's one thing, yeah. Uh, to what extent your, your predecessor was pretty good about standing up for the right of the people to record uh, you know, officials and so forth. He issued a memo. Are you in support of that memo? Are you going to you continue know, I, that? You know, I haven't read the memo. Um, I think government should be open and transparent. So I you did fine with me? <laughs> so, all right. You not imagine how many times I've been hit you know, and I had the cam we, camera we need stuff. To get in there all right. They're going on to the substance of the meeting. All right. Thanks Thank so much. Yeah. Take care. But the, the Marine Trades Association actually this. They do. I've got another question. Well, why don't you tell me what the question is? So, to what extent are you guys lobbying to maintain, uh, your office lobbying to maintain victimless crime laws? We testify on bills as they come before the legislature. That sounds like a yes, we do lobby to maintain victimless crime laws to me. Now, if you want to present specific laws with me that you want to ask about in bills, I can tell you where we testified. You understand I've been on the job about four months. Yeah. So I'm not sure what we've testified on and what not. So you're asking kind of a loaded question. I've never seen this happen, that's why I'm asking a question instead of making an accusation. Uh, I have seen testimony by, you know, your people again, you know, about, you know, things that I'm against, but, uh, but I haven't seen that yet. That's why I'm asking. So you, you're saying that it does or doesn't happen? I think I said I started the job in May. The legislative session was over. Well, in the last, so four, in the last to, four months. There hasn't been hearings before the legislature that I'm aware of, um, other than some study committees. So, okay. Uh, so I, honestly, I'm not aware of what the... Uh, department has come on to testify in or not. It tends to testify when there are changes in criminal justice matters and will take positions. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Egypt people is very nice and if the Egypt people take my advice
They will strike down the one party state they fear, but that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene and sort of kind of cut spending cause the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers freaking.com